Hi everyone, I continue on the lesson uh, review two, <coughs> fundamental of fractions. Um, it's um, this uh, question which I have to continue, which is change to an in, in improper fraction. And for improper fraction, we know the top must be more than bottom. Okay, so for example, here I can change this to minus five over one. <coughs> minus 10 over 2 so I multiply top and bottom with the same number I multiply top and bottom with 2 I multiply top and bottom with 3 and I didn't change my uh, fraction but if I multiply with two different numbers then that's wrong because I ch I'm changing the fraction okay so the next question is uh, minus 7 uh, 5 over 8 so I told you minus you have to keep it out and then 7 times 8 plus 5 so you don't use minus in the calculation divided by 8. Okay, and this is uh, 7 times 8, 56. Uh, so minus 61 divided by 8. Okay. So, uh, yeah. Uh, some people, they say, like, even when I'm marking final exam, I see minus 7 multiple 8 plus 5 divided by 8, which is minus 56 plus 5 divided by 8 which is minus 51 divided by 8 and that's wrong okay so you don't consider minus in calculation no 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 minus is just characteristic of the number so that's property of the number that has to be out okay so now um, i continue here on this uh, lesson so simplifying fractions simplifying fractions so before I talk about simplifying fractions, I have to talk about equivalent fractions maybe. Okay, so different, different ways of representing the same fraction. I call them equivalent fraction. And I already talked about them when I have, for example, minus 5 over 1 and I have um, minus 10 over 2. It's the same. That's the same. These are equivalent fractions. I don't see the same number, but it's exactly the same. Okay, so different ways of representing the same fraction means it's, they are equal, but I show them with different numbers. They are equivalent. Okay, so answer the followings. Are they equivalent? So in order to answer uh, that question, see it says, are they equivalent 2 over 6 over 1 over 3? So I have to see if I can reach from 2 over 6 to 1 over 3. I'm not sure. Okay, so I see it is 2 over 2 multiple 3 divided by, uh, so, so which is equal. Can I cancel 2 and 2? Yes, it's 1 over 3. Yes, the answer is yes. So I have to say yes. How about the other one? 1 over 5 and 2 over 20. Are they equal? 2 over 20 is 2 over 2 times 10, which is 1 over 10. And I cannot simplify. They are not equal. I can simplify, I know, but I can simplify 2 by 2. I mean, yes, I can simplify, but I cannot make them the same. Sorry about that. I have to say this. I cannot make them the same. 1 over 10, 1 over 5. They are not. So the answer is no here. Okay? So, but I say sometimes it's very hard that factor and uh, I want to factor and uh, to see what I can simplify and I can cancel from top and bottom. It's not easy. So maybe I can show you another way and that's cross multiplication. If I do cross multiplication and I reach to the same number, they are equivalent fraction. What do I mean? See, I have... See, I have A over B, and I know, I'm not sure if it is equal C over D. Yes, of course, A is not the same as C, B is not the same as D, but I want to say equivalent, okay? Sorry about that. So, if I don't drink, then I cough all the time. So, here, I would say, yes, the first, the first method is what I showed you. You cancel something from top and bottom, but that's hard. It takes time. So I don't want you to do that. I want to show you easier way, which is this. So you say AD and this one 
and this one, B, C, and if they are equal, you say, yes, it's equivalent. For example, uh, 1 over 5, 2 over 20. Okay, so I multiple 1 times 20, 2 times 10, oh, sorry, 2 times 5 is 10, this is 20. They are not the same as each other, so they are not equivalent. No. Okay, so easy. I don't even need to think about uh, simplifying. Okay, but the other one, uh, yes, the other one, what was the other one? So 2 over 6, 2 over 6 equal 1 over 3. Okay, so 2 times this is 6. 6 times 1 is 6. Yes, when I see the same number, then see i see six and i see six both of them are the same so the answer is yes they are equivalent okay but if i don't see the same when i do cross multiplication cross multiplication is this space so this space so if i was in front of you i would show me that my my my, my hands are crossed okay so this space so you do the top of one to the bottom of the other and the top of the other to bottom of the first one Okay, so and then check if it's equal. Okay, so are they following equivalence? So yes, uh, as I said, so you don't need to even think about. So you just have to calculate for this one. Yes, look at the other page. I did it there. How about this one? So okay, seven times twenty-one, seven times twelve. Of course, it's not. Oh, sorry, four times twenty-one. Sorry, four times twenty-one. Okay. 7 times 12 is um, 86, I think. I'm not sure. 84. So 7 times 12 is 84. Yes. And this one is 84. So the answer is yes. Yes. Equivalent. How about the other one? Okay. So 3 times 15 equals 6 times 5. I'm not sure. This is 30. This is 45. The answer is no. Because it's not equal. One of them 45, one of them 30. It's not. Okay, so how about this one? So 13 times 77, 18 times 55. So I use my calculator. 990. The other one, I feel they are not actually. Yes, so 1001. Okay, no. So the answer is no then. They are not equivalent. Because when I do cross multiplication, I don't see um, so the same. So let me see. Yes, this one. And 18 times 55 one more time. Yes. Okay, so so my handwriting is awful, I know. Yeah. Okay, so how about this? Simplifying uh, fractions. Yes. So... As I said, as I said, often the fractions calculated, the end of the problem is large and I want to, for example, many times, many times that I give you a question, I say, I want you to simplify the answer. Means you have to find if you can cancel any number from top and bottom. Okay, I recommend you start from dividing by two. And then you divide by three, and don't divide. The, you don't. You don't need to divide by four because you already did by two. So you do divide by two, but you continue to two until you cannot do by two. Divide by two, and then divide by three, and then divide by five, top and bottom, and then see if you can cancel. Okay. For example, here I say okay, two five six divided by two. And 5, 1, 2 divided by 2. Okay, so I divide. Here I divide by 2, both of them. And I continue divide by 2 because I can. And at the end, I reach to 1 over 2. Okay? Done. So I divide by 2 until I cannot divide by 2. So I do many times by 2 if I can. If I am able. And then I divide by 3. I don't divide by 4 because 4 is 2 by 2. So 2 times 2 doesn't, doesn't make any sense because I already did. So I do by 5, divide by 5. I don't do divide by 6 because I did 2 and 3. 6 is 2 times 3. So I do divide by um, 
7. I do divide by not 8 because 8 is 2, 2, 2. So I already did. So I did. I do divide by 9. No, 9 is 3 divided 3 times 3. I, do, I don't do divide by 10. 10 is 2 times 5. I divide by 11. So I divide by prime numbers. So I divide top and bottom bit. 2, 3, 5, 7, and 11, and 13. And then finally, it will be... You don't you don't see very 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 large numbers. So of course you can cancel. Okay. To simplify a fraction, as I said, find the common factor between numerator and denominator. Means you find something which is common between top and bottom, and then divide both. As I said, okay. But you don't need to find it because finding is hard. So divide by two and check if you can. Continue divide by two until you cannot. Then go to three. Then go to five. Okay. So repeat as I see here it says repeat and until you cannot con you cannot simplify. Okay. So here I will write divide by two, divide by three, top and bottom, divide by five, divide by seven, divide by. 2, 3, you don't need to do 4, 5, you don't need to do 6, 7, you don't need to do 8, 9, 10, 11, divide by 13, divide by not 14, not 15, not 16, divide by 17. And of course, of course, it will be done after, after several divisions. So you don't need to go for many, many, okay? Yeah. So for example, I know here, I know here is 1 over 3 because I know 8 and 24 is 3 times 8. I know. But let's say I don't know. So it doesn't matter. Okay. So I have 8 over 24 and I divide by 2. Remember, I divide top and bottom. Both of them. Divide by 2. What is the answer? 4 over 12. Then I divide by 2 again. So it's 2 over 6. Then I divide by 2 again. So it's 1 over 3. Okay? Answer is 1 over 3. From the beginning, I could say 1 over 3 because I know 24 is 3 times 8. Okay? But let's say I don't know. I, I tell you this because let's say we don't know. So we don't, uh, we don't just say, oh, it's end of the world. No. I can start to do uh, the division. Okay? How about the next one? The next one. I know I know the next one is 1 over 4. <coughs> because 36 is 4 times 9. I know. But let's say I don't know. I divide. I divide. Okay. So I divide 9, 36. This one I divide by 2. This one I divide by 2. This is impossible. Because 9 is not divided by 2. Okay. It doesn't matter. I go to 3. I divide by 3. I divide by 3. So what is the answer? 3 over 12. Then I divide by 3 again because I continue. 1 over 4. Done! Done! I cannot continue after. 1 over 4 is simplified. Okay? So try to divide by uh, prime numbers top and bottom. Remember, you divide top and bottom. If you divide top and bottom, if you multiply top and bottom, you didn't change the equation. You didn't change the fraction. Nothing is wrong. Okay? So now let's uh, simplify them. Okay, here, if I continue, here I divide by 2, and then I divide by 2, and then, so, this is uh, 2 times 4, just one second, see, okay, I'm not sure what's wrong, but the file is moving, and I'm not moving it, <laughs> it is so funny, okay, so, yeah. Okay, so let me see if I can write here. Okay, so 2 times 2 times 4 divided by 4. So I can cancel. When I cancel, what is left from bottom? 0? No, 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 no. 2. 2 is left. Okay, done. 2 is left. 2 is 2 over 1, which is 2. Okay, how about the other one? Okay, so the other one. Minus 5 over 5 times 5. Okay, 5 and 5 cancel. What is left from top? Minus 1 over 5. Remember, when nothing is left, means 1 is left. 
when you don't see any number. So don't say zero. That's wrong. When you cancel everything from top, everything from bottom, it's one. One is left. Okay, so how about this guy? Okay, how about this guy? Okay, so it is 7 divided by 7 times 7. Okay, 7 and 7 cancel, 1 over 7. How about this? 3 times 3 divided by 2 times 3. 3 and 3 cancel, so it's 3 over 2, which is 1.5. Okay, if I say I don't want to see in fraction, sorry, if I say I don't want to see decimal and just show me with fraction, then just leave it this way. Okay, you don't even uh, change to decimal. 12 over 4, so it is 12 divided, sorry, 3 times 4, 3, so 3 and 3 cancel, 4 over 1, 4 is left, okay, so, minus 8 over 2 is minus, minus, minus 4 times 2 divided by 2, what is left, minus 4. Here, 2 times 8 divided by 2 is 8 over 1, which is 8. Okay? Remember, if I don't know, I can continue divide by dividing by 2. And then I stop when I cannot. I go to 3. Then I stop when I cannot. I go to the next one. Okay? So here. Here. What do you do here? Okay, here you don't need to calculate. You don't need to say, oh, top is 8, bottom is 4. You don't need. You know the rule. What is the rule here? What is the rule here? So 2 power 3 minus 2, which is 2 power 1. Okay, which is 2. Remember, if you are my student, show me your steps. In quiz or test, show me your steps. Don't just write the answer is 2. Then I ask you why. Okay, show the reason. So how about here? Oops. So how about here? So you do minus 2 times 4 divided by 4. Okay, which is uh, minus 2. Okay? If you have one negative, one negative stays because it's odd number. Okay, so otherwise it will be positive if I have top and bottom. Okay, so see, minus 8 divided by 4 is the same as. 8 divided by minus 4 is the same as minus 8 divided by 4. But it's not minus 8. Sorry. Minus 8 divided by 4 is not minus 8 divided by minus 4. Wrong. Sometimes I see a student, they use minus for both of them. No, that's positive. That's not negative. That's wrong. Okay, so it's not. Okay, don't make any mistake this way. So how about this one here? Make sure to simplify top and bottom. Don't make it hard. You, you don't need to say, oh, it is 16 times, what is 3 power 5? 3, 2, 4, 3, divided by 9 times 8. No, no, don't do that. Then it will be very hard. Simplify when you can. Oh, yes, I can. So this is 2 power 4, 3 power 5, divided by 3 power 2, 2 power 3, which is this one and this one, and this one and this one, which is 2 power 4 minus 3, multiple 3 power 5 minus 2, which is 2 multiple 3 power 3. Okay, and then you can say it's 2 times 27, which is 54, I think. Yes. Okay, so let me see. Um, so here I just wanted to check something. Times that. Divided by... Okay, just wanted to check something on my calculator. I, I, I was just thinking about something. So, yes, so you don't need to make it a large number. You don't need to multiple top, you don't need to multiple bottom, and then make it a large number, and then make it trouble for yourself. No, you don't need. You have to go over, just go through a lot of trouble to, cal to simplify. So simplify from beginning. Okay, 2 by 2 and 3 by 3, I can simplify them. 
I can use other all, all the rules I have from exponent. I can. So how about this one? Oh, this one is four power two and um, sixty four is um, eight squared, which is two squared a squared divided by two cube power two which is 2 power 4 divided by 2 power 6 which is 2 power 4 minus 6 which is 2 power minus 2 which is 1 over 2 power 2 which is 1 over 4 done okay yeah I, I don't need to even calculate so I just um, simplify with powers but it doesn't matter from the beginning I can say it is 16 divided by 64 okay and i know it's 16 divided by 4 times 16 right yes and then i know it's 1 over 4 okay so i can do either way so how about here this is minus 36 divided by 36 so this is minus 1 done Okay, or I can say it is minus 6 power 2 divided by 6 power 2, so this is minus 1, or both of them. Okay, what happened? Um, yeah. I don't know why this file is just, just it's, uh, it keeps moving. Okay, so how about here? Remember, you can stop and uh, do it on your own and then watch it. Okay, if I make mistake, tell me. So, okay, look at that. So you can do this and this together, this and this together, and this one alone. Okay, so you have 4 power 3 minus 2, because it's division, multiple 5, 1 minus 2, multiple 6, which is 4 times 6 divided by 5 okay so I do a step by step 5 power minus 1 multiple 6 which one has power minus negative power which one has negative exponent just 5 power minus 1 that's it so I just move that one I move it down and change the power to positive because maybe I tell you I want to see everything in positive powers okay so it is 4 times 6 divided by 5 done and uh, so I can say 24 divided by 5. Okay, so I don't need to, I don't need to continue after that. Okay, so because I can't continue, I can't simplify. And maybe I don't say, I, I, I say I don't want to see decimal. Okay, so here, how about this one? You can just stop the video, do it on your own and then check. If I make mistake, tell me. How about that? Okay, so here, maybe I tell you I want you to use just rules by, uh, just exponent rules. Means I don't want you to calculate. See, if you calculate this, will be a large number. You don't need, if you calculate this, will be a large number. You don't need to go through a lot of trouble to simplify. You don't need, you can simplify here. How? I know 2 power 4 is 16 and 4 power 2 is 16, so I can cancel them down. And then here it is 3 power 2 minus 3 multiple minus 1 because it's minus 1 multiple minus 1 multiple. How many minus 1 I see? 1. How many I really have? 3. It's odd number so it's negative. Okay so it is minus 3 power minus 1. Do I change it to positive? No. My number is negative. But the only thing I change I move this one down and change the power but my number is minus 3 power minus 1 so it's a stay negative the only thing is moving is the number with negative exponent is moving down and I change to positive power that's it I don't change the sign of the number my number is negative it stays negative positive it stays neg positive a number is beside I don't move that uh, what do I mean? Did, see, here I don't move. I don't move this. I don't move this. I don't move them. Because 4 and 6 are just 
positive, sorry, with positive exponents, so I don't move them. The only thing I move is the one with negative exponent. Okay, so let me see if I'm done here. Uh, oh yes, it's a word problem here that I have to do. Okay, so a word problem here that we can read it. So recommended daily uh, daily allowance. Okay, according to the Food and Drug Administrator, so FDA, in 2003, the following table represents the recommended daily um, RDA, so which is the recommended daily uh, allowance that you need. Okay, so for each dietary element, so based on 2,000 calorie diet. Okay, so. You need, for example, total fat, you need 66 grams, and you need that, and you need that. If you have 2,000 calories, so you need these things, okay? So a high-performance energy bar made by power bar has the following amount of each food type. So, for example, this is what you need, but you have a power bar, and the power bar has a little bit of each, okay? But it doesn't have, of, of course, a lot, because just a power bar. So, okay, use the table to answer the following question, equations. What fraction of RDA means um, the, let me see, recommended uh, daily allowance? What, what fraction of RDA for sodium is contained in uh, power bar? Okay, very sodium. Um, sodium, 1000 over 2400, okay? C thousand so it means what fraction so fraction is part over total total is the total is top here the this one is a part because it's it's just a part of the food of the daily daily food just a power bar okay so thousand divided by two four zero zero okay which is ten divided by twenty four which is 5 divided by 12. If I can simplify, I simplify until end. How about next? Okay, next. It says what fraction is for saturated fat? Tell me saturated fat. Saturated fat, so maybe I can color them. So this one is uh, sodium. This. How about the next one? Saturated fat. 1 and 20. 1 and 20, so it's 1 over 20. I cannot simplify more. So which one is for carbohydrate? So carbohydrate, I do it um, green. So carbohydrate is this one and this one. 45 and um, 300. Am I right? 300, 45, 300. So we need, so 45. We need 300, but uh, 45 is inside the bar. Okay, so <coughs> can I simplify here? Yes, I divide by 5 first. So I divide by 5, so it's 9 over 60. Yes, 9 over 60, and then I divide by 3. I, I can say I divide by 3 first. So I divide by 3 first because then I can continue with my order. So 45 and 300, I divide by 3. So then it is uh, 15 over 100, and then I divide by 5, which is uh, 3 over 20. Um, let me see, am I right here? So, I feel I'm making mistakes somewhere. So, yes, um, yeah, no, it's correct. Okay, so look at the question. So, according to 2003 research, okay, 
this is what we need or what we don't say we need so we say like um so this is based on 2000 calorie this is what we uh so according to the food so the, uh, table represent for each dietary element so the recommend daily allows yes yes this is a recommended daily the day recommended daily thing that you need okay so if you have 2000 calories so these are recommended things for example for each you need that you need that gram you need that gram you need that. so but one of the food you get maybe it's a power bar okay and you want to know what is the fraction of each element okay in uh, so i told you fraction is part of a total so i have to look at the part and then check what is total total is the first one okay so how about uh, let me see how about the next one so the next one is um, fiber so fiber so fiber here let me see this fiber 25 and 3 so it's um 25 and 3 so 3 over 25 then okay so it's 3 over 25 and i don't need to uh i don't need to cancel and because it's gram and gram the gram and gram cancel so top and bottom okay so how about um let me say check yes all of them are because all of both uh, both top and bottom have the same uh, the same um, unit for example gram and gram for example um like milligram and milligram for example they both the same top and bottom so we cancel okay so how about the last the last must be total fat okay so total fat which is uh, here yes the total fat i'm not sure if i can make another color here maybe i go with um, this one yes so this one and this one total fat okay so then i go here and i do total fat okay for total fat i do let me see yeah so yes it, it's um i'm not sure how it was so total is 66 and 3 so 3 over 66 okay 3 over 66 i divide top and bottom with 2 i can't i divide top and bottom with 3 so it's 1 over 22 if i'm right yes okay and because top and bottom have the same unit you cancel okay so see when i see based on based on 2000 calorie this is all i need for example okay so this is total but for one item uh, i get part of it of course i get part of it and then i can find the find the um, so fraction okay which fraction so it's part over total fraction meaning is part over total so you have a total you have one item one item for example you have one pizza you have one class and divide it between different parts divide it between for example i say one third of my class are for example um for example are coming from this for example certain country for example so means i divided my class between three parts and i'm considering one of the parts okay so for, if i say one quarter of my class for example for example our boys or our girls so means i'm dividing my class with between four parts and i'm considering one part if i say i had half of the pizza means i divide by one pizza by two and i have one, one one piece one part okay so i always have one item but i divide it between different parts and i put that different parts the number bottom total and then i use some of the parts which is which is top part over total is the fraction okay so now i am done with this uh, video here so i finish it here so this is video two related to this lesson okay so i really appreciate if you watch them if you stop and do them on your own and then continue to watch if you see any mistake i made so please tell me um, I do see solutions in front of me and it's very possible, it's very hard to talk and just talk to the walls, you are not here to answer the questions, so it's totally possible I make mistakes, so please let me know, I really appreciate your time and 
Thank you. Bye.